Now we are going to start the press conference by Prime Minister Ishiba. Prime Minister have opening remarks. Prime Minister, the floor is yours. Uh, thank you very much for waiting. And today I dissolve the lower house. To the people in Japan, their satisfaction and their understanding and empathy without that, we cannot uh, put forward the government and politics. To the people in Japan, we like to ask for their judgment, then with understanding, then you like to carry out the new uh, government uh, policies execution uh, with strength. The, uh, facing up to the general election as LDP president, as an initiative to the gain back the trust in politics and the public official uh, endorsement as is listing on the proportional representation list, we show the new policies. And people, uh, that members having greater punishment than non endorsement, uh, endorsement will not receive endorsement. And other that members who did, did report their income in the political report funds will not be listed in the list as well. And each diet member of the DP face up to each voter giving sufficient explanation and without understanding, I don't believe that we can gain back the faith of the people in Japan in the politics. And that's why double entry and of the part of the candidates will not be done, including myself, the four LDP party leaders, and they will not be listed on the proportional representation list of the party. And I was inaugurated as the Prime Minister of Japan. Then I visited the damaged areas of Noto Peninsula. There was a double disaster, earthquake, and heavy rains. Then people have been suffering, and some of them are wondering why they have to suffer this much. And I was able to observe the strong pains and from those people, those pains are still in my memory. The government has to listen to the voices of those people suffering right now. We are part of the government. So government has to try its utmost to respond to those and the people. And that's why we have decided to then designate the NOTO and disaster as severe, extremely severe disasters. Then we decided to use and the part of the contingency funds. Then the business operation subsidies, and then to restore the machines and the farmer and farm agricultural machines and the subsidies to help agricultural uh, industry by working out those measures in case the people suffered from damage. The damage of the earthquake and can get the benefit of those, those measures additionally. We have to brace for disaster prevention all the time. This has been announced. It is too late for us to move after disasters happen. The people are in the midst of the pains and due to their, their sacrifices and damage, and they shouldn't suffer and any damage. In a few hours after disaster, the container, the, the toilets, and the kitchen cars, and then privacy protected tents will be provided for those people. We'd like to create such a situation. In 1995, I remember it happened in 1995, then we had the occurrence of Hanshi Yawaji, a great earthquake. Mr. Gotoda, the expert of crisis management, made a statement. We cannot prevent natural disasters, but Disasters that might happen afterwards and uh, man-made disasters. And this is exactly what Mr. Gotoda said. I remember exactly what he said. I put a minister in charge of crisis management, and we had an arrangement of the experts against disasters. First, we like to have a disaster prevention than the agency. Then we like to use the, the cabinet the, uh, budget and then I have given an instruction to study this matter. Japan, then, is one of the most disaster-prone countries in the world. We really have to protect the people from disasters. Who can do it? I like it's up to the judgment of the people in Japan. My cabinet is a cabinet to protect the local communities. All across the nation, the local communities, each region and uh, many regions are going to 
and disappear. This is a silent emergency indeed taking place right now. Ten years ago, I was, I was appointed the first minister in charge of regional revitalization. Then I was encouraged by the people in the local communities. Then I showed my energy as a minister. But initial purpose, I don't think um, initial purpose was achieved under the current situation. For the past 10 years, then the, based on outcomes, the lessons we have learned, regional revitalization 2.0, that we set the duration of next 10 years, we'd like to restart our initiatives for regional revitalization. Regional revitalization is not like the conflict between urban cities and the local communities. We'd like to gain back the security safety across the nation, then we can leverage the Japan's potential as much as possible so that the whole nation can be revitalized. This initiative um, will succeed in any way we can. We set up a new headquarters for regional revitalization to be established by the end of this week. Going to the end of the year, then I'd like to come up with basic ideas. The grant for regional revitalization will be doubled compared to original budget. And strongly, we are supporting the, uh, the effort made by the, the, the regions. The core of the region is agriculture fishery and forestry. We are going to maximize the potential, including the tourism. Service in industry will have high value, AI, semiconductors. And there will be more investment from private sector. We will have plan for the supports. Uh, this is low profile, but long efforts. In order to overcome deflation, uh, we are making it a sure thing. On the other hand, Almost first time in 30 years, people are facing the inflation or price increase of the commodity goods. Uh, with the measures against inflation, we have to increase the real wages. So the, uh, the, 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 the sound economy is uh, based on the, uh, the fiscal health. And in order to uh, uh, realize growth type economy, uh, we are uh, realizing uh, the growth of the economy, secure and the safe the situation for the people. That is the economic measures has to be implemented. I gave instructions to uh, ministers in 2020, uh, 1,500 yen is the uh, national average of minimum wage. In order to make it happen, uh, we are enhancing the measures to increase the minimum wage. 99% of the, the companies and 70% of the workers are for the SMEs. In order to strongly support them, we are promoting increase of the uh, productivity. Uh, we are uh, the revising the subcontract act so that there will be a, a, the, the cost pass-through uh, for these companies. Uh, we will put ourselves in the shoes of the people so that people can feel that people feel safe and also uh, they feel the benefit, and in, uh, we are going to formulate and realize the, uh, the package. The uh, China, Russia uh, entering the airspace, and North Korea launching uh, uh, the ballistic missiles in a post-war period, uh, we are uh, facing the most complicated and most severe security environment. A peacetime disappearing in a moment that is what we are seeing multiple times. It is not only on a TV screen. This could happen in Asia uh, tomorrow. This is the era we are living in. Who can protect Japan? In the security world, I have a long experience. This is the time for Japan, for the country I will use all the, uh, the powers that I have. In this administration, for the people, the capability for diplomacy, capability uh, for defense, those uh, capabilities will be enhanced with the balance uh, so that uh, we can realize uh, peace and stability. Uh, right after the inauguration, I talked to President Biden uh, from the US so that Japan-US alliance uh, will be um, enhanced. 
more strongly for abduction issue of North Korea, uh, we conduct, we confirm that we are working together in order to protect free and open Indo Pacific, uh, President Yoon, and also uh, Prime Minister Albanese. Uh, we, I talk to them over the phone, and we confirm the collaboration with South Korea and Australia. And the Middle East situation is worsening, and I talk to the G7 leaders over the phone. And ASEAN, a relevant minister meeting, uh, I'm leaving for the meeting and uh, with China, India, and ASEAN uh, countries, I'm going to build the leader level relationships for regional uh, safety and stability in order for them to be secured. I'm leading the initiative. So in Asia, uh, to be state for security uh, will be uh, the, the considered. I gave instruction to the LDP the, uh, for defense capability the SDF members uh, working environment has to be improved. And those early retirement uh, for SDF members, the experience and skills have to be utilized. Even after the retirement, they can uh, demonstrate their potential in the society in order for them to design the life. Uh, today, I established the relevant ministers a meeting that I spearhead. Relevant ministries uh, should be working together for policies and, and for the, uh, the, the 2025 uh, budget and related items I will be put together uh, this year and in 2012. And uh, since that, Abe and, and Suga and Kishida, and under those prime ministers, there have been a series of efforts for economy. As a result, the uh, working environment has been improved. Wages, stock prices, they have been uh, increased. And for 30 years, deflation continued. And we are about to overcome deflation. We have to maintain the flow. We have to achieve further growth and expanding people's wages and income. That is what we're going to do so that uh, people's life uh, will be improved in both economically and and uh, work. We are going to proceed with regional revitalization. We have to bring the flows of people and goods to local communities and by carrying out digitalization, wherever you, you are in Japan, people can study, people can work, and they can get the medical services and welfare services. We have to create such a rich society in Japan. Then people can feel fine the local communities and urban cities, and they're connected by getting wealthy and rich. And for people living in urban areas, work and leisure and learning, studying, and their choices of life will be expanded as a result. A new form of regional uh, vitalization is not the extension of so-called uh, the city community development. This is going to change how the Japanese society will be. This is an attempt to revitalize Japan as a nation. This is a drastic platform. For us to make it happen, then drastically, we have to have the judgment and trust of the people in Japan. This resolution is uh, to revitalize Japan. Japanese and my government is going to protect Japan and the people there, react to safety and security of urban cities, react to protect the life in local communities, and protect the rights opportunities of young people and women. And please and um, let us the manage the government that act to and um, ask for your support to make all of things those things happen. Thank you. Now we are taking questions from the floor. If your name is called, please proceed to the microphone. Please state your affiliation and the name and ask one question. Oh, we appreciate uh, your uh, support because we have another schedule. Um, the, the Mr. Chijiwa from uh, TV Asahi asks the first question. Prime Minister, thank you. I am Chijiwa from TV Asahi, coordinating uh, media. You said that this uh, this solution is to is to really uh, build Japan. So, what is the uh, number of seats as a threshold for win and? lose, and do you have a confidence 
or probability to go over the threshold. And if your result goes below the threshold, how are you going to take responsibility for that? As I said earlier, this dissolution is to build Japan. And we are changing uh, the Japan fundamentally. And for the efforts, we would like to seek the mandates uh, from the uh, Taba public. That is, that is why I called this dissolution uh, as a dissolution to build uh, Japan once again. And I do understand that this election is going to be a tough election. Uh, for threshold for win and lose, uh, we would like to aim at a majority uh, with LDP and new Komeito party combined. And in order for all the candidates to uh, win this the election, and also in order to win the majority with the LDP and uh, the Komeito party, uh, we will do the utmost effort. Uh, you asked what would we do if we go below the threshold. At this point, what we can say is to win the majority uh, as a LDP and Komeito party. And we are making the utmost effort. At this point, I refrain from uh, making a comment about what will happen. And next, I would like to have a question from Mr. Ishii of Asahi, a coordinator. This is Ishii from Asahi Shimbun. Uh, the upcoming uh, general election is going to be held right after the inauguration of your cabinet. But in the diet uh, session, we had the party leader discussion, but there was no budget committee. And then I don't think there is a full-fledged discussion between the ruling parties and opposition parties. But uh, I wonder if you think that you show sources of judgment to voters with this. And today, the successor was announced. And so far, um, you said that uh, you will uh, severe face down the slash fund issues, and there were uh, candidates announced. But uh, why did you avoid giving no endorsements across the board to all the LDP Diet members punished due to their involvement in the slash fund cases? During the LDP presidential election campaign, and when the new cabinet is formed, we have to ask for the judgment from the people in Japan. That is what consistent message that I made. And for us to make it happen, and to voters in Japan, then uh, with sovereign power, and to react, ask for a judgment, then we provided as much sources as possible for voters to make a judgment. These two uh, missions, based on various ideas, then I have fulfilled my responsibility. And there was a party leader questions and answers. As much as possible, I gave my responses and with my words. When I made a general a policy speech, then I made a speech uh, with my own words so that I can gain the understanding of the people in Japan. Then today, uh, due to the special consideration from the upper house, uh, there was a party uh, discussion today. Uh, the uh, conventional duration was 45 minutes, but we spent uh, 80 minutes and uh, almost double as the ordinary duration. Then I had discussions with opposition party leaders. My uh, cabinet was formed. The direct ask for uh, the trust from the people in Japan. We have a new cabinet. That's why we're going to seek the people's uh, trust in the uh, politics, in the government. And that is what I mentioned in the press meeting. And that is what we're going to do. The direct to seek a judgment of the people in Japan then to that end. I have provided the source of information and materials for people uh, there will be uh, election campaigns, and there will be party leader discussions from there to there. Uh, we're going to provide those opportunities for the people in Japan across the nation. Then I would like to communicate my ideas with sincerity so that um, I'd like to and, uh, ask for a judgment of people in Japan, so-called slash fund cases, and no listing of uh, income and political uh, reports, fund reports, and I say officially, I say no listing of import, uh, income in the report. This was confirmed in my discussion with Mr. Noda today. With that in mind, then 
I spent, uh, we had a lot, a lot of discussion in the party's election strategy committee that we made a judgment whether we can give official endorsements with some, uh, some diet members and no official endorsement to others. And the treatment in the LDP, the amount of income which was not reported in the reports in each constituency, then how much um, trust and confidence uh, each that member then, then gets. Um, all of these factors were considered. Whether there will be a double entry of candidates um, into single seat constituencies, constituencies and professional representation list, uh, a judgment was made based on those factors. And then we can, then I'm ready to uh, give all the possible efforts to get understanding the confidence voters in each and constituency that we had a very sincere discussions and uh, reaching uh, this uh, conclusion. Then, thank you. Now we are going to take questions from uh, non-coordinating uh, media outlets. Please raise your hand if you have a question from Shin Honkai Shinbu newspaper, uh, Nishiyama-san. I'm Nishiyama from Nihonkai Shinbu newspaper. So let me ask about regional revitalization. So it's been 10 years since the start of the uh, uh, regional revitaliza revitalization policy. In Totori, our uh, population is declining, and there is a continuous outflow of population to urban area. And July this year, uh, our newspaper conducted some interviews. And you said that, uh, asked what will be needed for the revitalization uh, for the, the regions. You said that the passion for incumbent prime minister is needed. That's why you said, now you are a prime minister, and today is the, effectively the start of the election. And what do you think is needed for regional revitalization going forward? The central government and, and uh, uh, for the 47 prefectures, 1,718 uh, the, the regional governments and 23 uh, areas in Tokyo. Uh, we have to work together. I said that the relevant budget uh, will be doubled. Ten years ago, I was a minister in charge of regional revitalization. It was 100 billion yen. 100 billion yen is the uh, large amount. However, uh, this distribution to 1,718. Uh, there was a question whether those uh, the ideal measures were conducted. We, I have to restore the, the unity and those, the leader of the uh, local governments and also residents of the local areas. We want people to uh, be uh, united and to work together. It's not only done by government. As I said 10 years ago, so the, uh, there are the each party, including the, so the, uh, there are the, the business communities, industries, the uh, city halls, and also the uh, government, and also the academia, not only university, high schools, junior high schools. And those stakeholders were working together for regional revitalization. I witnessed that. So the uh, public and, and private and academia, and also financial institutions, regional banks, uh, Shinkin Bank, and uh, uh, those financial network. And they, they know that. And those uh, labor unions. So the. Uh, uh, so the, the media outlets, including regional newspaper, TV, radio, and those media outlets who know the local communities, and, and those have to work together to think about what would be the best way. And, and the sense of unity is needed. Uh, I was in charge of the uh, administration. I was minister in charge of the uh, regional revitalization for two years, and I witnessed uh, the good examples. Let's talk about uh, Obihiro Tokachi bus uh, for local bus and local train, Isumi and, and 
and railway, and also Japanese style uh, accommodation uh, facilities. There are examples to improve added value, productivity, attract the visitors. We, we can make it a long term so that instead of saying that we cannot do it, uh, we can say we can do it working together. And you talked about Totori. The uh, birth rate is high, and there are people moving into Totori Prefecture. But at the same time, some people uh, decide to leave the prefecture, especially people who are 18 to 22 years old, and how we can stop that. And those people who are in 40s and 50s, and, and we want these people to go back to the regional areas, we will do everything we can so that uh, regional revitalization and Japan re revitalization can be achieved. Mr. Yokobori from TV Tokyo, please go ahead. This is Yokobori from TV Tokyo. At the start, you mentioned about you mentioned the economic measures and various uh, the forms. The election campaign is going to start as economic measures. And which one is the most important and prioritized one when you talk to your voters? And how are you going to get understanding support from the people in Japan? That is exactly what I mentioned in the general policy uh, speech, and I gave my responses to the party leaders' questions. I'd like to move away from the cost-cutting economy, how to reduce uh, wages, then how how to increase the burden of uh, subcontractors and how to uh, reduce the cost of capital expenditures. And all of these and come from the cost-cutting economy Then we have to move away from such a practice. Then, then what, is going to be, what is going to take the place of that? This is a quite difficult word indeed. And high uh, the economy to generate a high uh, added value. High added value is when you spend uh, this much money, then you like to buy a product, then even if you spend that much money, you like to buy products and services. And value and added is a source of GDP. Uh, when wages increase, then real wages um, go greater than inflation. In case people have services and products they like to buy, 54% of GDP is um, comes from consumer spending. Without increasing the consumer spending, then we cannot move out uh, move out of deflation or the spiral. Increasing value added, increasing the wages of workers. Without uh, making cuts in the capital expenditures and the wages, we have to uh, say goodbye to that kind of um, an e economic uh, style. That's what I believe. Uh, next. Uh, Jimbo san from Video News. Thank you. I'm Jimbo from Video News. Uh, this is rare for me to ask a question, so I may ask a question that could be different uh, from Press Club. Prime Minister, uh, you became the president of LDP, now you are Prime Minister. Um, Many people in Japan, including ourselves, were uh, expecting you to be a different prime minister from the uh, predecessors. And you are still uh, new in the position. But uh, from many people in Japan, uh, we see you uh, taking back from uh, your previous comments. So maybe it's too much to say, people are disappointed. But because uh, we had a high level of expectation, people are wondering why uh, uh, you are, are doing what you are doing today. So my question is this. What is uh, preventing from you uh, being who you are as Prime Minister Ishiba? So I want to ask if you are doing what you want to do. If that is not the case, what is um, obstacle for you? And are you saying that it is still uh, the new uh, as uh, this administration? 
do you think that people should have expectation so that you will going to achieve what people are expecting? In order to meet uh, people's expectation, I have to exert uh, everything that I have. So the, uh, we are not autocratic uh, party. Uh, we gain the, the support from uh, the people and and putting together we, what we do as a party. This is a job of the uh, president. So the, uh, the, the collective uh, defense in Asia and NATO-like system and also status of forces agreement. And there are questions about what we are doing about this. In a, a presidential election of LDP, I said what needed to be done. But going forward, within LDP, there will be a, a discussion and there has to be consensus. Now I'm a, a president of LDP and I'm going to realize everything I said during the election. This is not something uh, we do as a democratic government. And in the LDP, there will be a wide range of uh, discussions. The revision of SOFA uh, and also the, the collective uh, defense and uh, self-defense and in Asia, these were not even discussed. There are many topics that were not discussed. So these are the topics that should be discussed within a party. And, and when they became the party's idea, and uh, through the consultation with Kometo party, and we make a proposal as a government. And those meticulous process is uh, what we want to do. If it's a democratic uh, the administration, uh, this is what we have to do. And I'm not going to uh, really uh, put the value uh, on um, the making agreement within the party. It is important uh, for us to have understanding from the public. And I have been this uh, well, I have been doing this for 30, 80 years. I know that there are each lawmaker has a different opinion. And we want to make sure that uh, uh, all the people's voices will be heard and, and with a mandate from the public and one by one. And we would like to uh, execute what I said in a presidential election. I know that I should not uh, really uh, disappoint uh, people. Mr. Sadaki, please go ahead. This is uh, Sadaki from Hokkok Shimbun. And can I ask a question about the lower house election? In Noto area, there were a lot of suffering. Some people say it is not a good time for them to have a have an election. Uh, how are you going to respond to those voices of uh, um, people who are affected by the disasters? And during the election campaign, I think you go to various places. And do you have a plan to visit Noto? as part of your election campaign activities. After the disasters, as the head of the LDPs and then the fisheries and then the forest fisheries uh, the group, I visited various areas, uh, fishing areas, then I, I listened to the voice of the people, and I visited, then visited the areas of North Peninsula right after I became the prime minister. Uh, then people wondered why the government does understand what they had in mind and why the feelings of those people cannot be accepted sincerely by the government. I heard those voices of people in the region. I really have to, government has to respond to the voices. Those people have ideas and uh, feelings and for us to respond to what they have in mind. Uh, disaster prevention agency is Establishment is one of those measures, and about 110 years ago, and 101 year, years ago, we had a great Hanshin, great uh, Kanto earthquake, and I don't think we repeat the same pains. There are people in despair that we can give encouragement those people. Establishing such a structure is quite uh, important, necessary. And we like to ask for a judgment of the voters in the affected regions. I visited many places which are damaged by the earthquake and heavy rains, and we send expert advisors to those areas. 
so that the election, that the election voting activities can be done quite smoothly and by working out those measures and facing up, facing up to uh, the resolution of the lower house and general election so that voters can carry out their rights as the voters then react to and uh, pull out all the stops and to support um, voters in the region, then LDP is going to make a judgment to which area I'm going to visit. People and the people are in despair, but those people can understand that the government is ready to understand then, what they had in mind and would like to make an effort to make it happen. Because of the uh, time constraints, we are, are taking the uh, last two questions, and please I'll make sure your question is uh, concise. I'm Higuchi from Chugo newspaper. Let me ask about uh, policy activity. And during the presidential election, and there was a, a 11 uh, local uh, paper uh, interview, and and there are some idea uh, to uh, really put an end to uh, the, the the political uh, activity allowance and and there is a vague allowance because no purpose uh, it can be disclosed and and there was uh, the suspected it, it could be suspected the source of the the scandal and you were secretary general uh, so i think you know the reality so using allowance uh, without a clear purpose why did you say something like that you said it is one of the options to put an end to uh, political activity allowance. And, and I want to know what is your idea about that? So the, uh, so I asked, uh, uh, I answered the, uh, the question from the party leaders, political activity allowance uh, will be discussed and uh, um, ending the allowance is one of the options. So. So there has to be uh, the, the, the discussion and the political activity allowance is, the, uh, uh, is used for the, uh, the misconduct that should not happen. And political activity allowance, everything uh, should be disclosed. There's a one opinion. Then there's an issue regarding privacy uh, and, also, and also that trade secrets of the companies, they can be undermined. And there is a concern. And one of the options is to um, uh, end it all at once. And it is uh, legal to receive political activity uh, allowance. And there has to be uh, the controlled. And I'm not saying that it, should, it can be used in an illegal manner. It should be used with a certain control. And as a LDP, we would like to consider the options, including putting an end to the allowance. And also, I, uh, this may be related with the uh, uh, other countries. And we would like to avoid the, uh, the distrust from the uh, public. That's what we are going to do. Uh, final question, Mr. Hagiwara from Bloomberg. Uh, Ms. Hagiwara from Bloomberg, please go ahead. This is Hagiwara from Bloomberg. Can I ask a question about Japan diplomacy facing the election in November? There will be a new government to be formed. Then you said that uh, you emphasized the enhanced, necessity of enhancement of Japan-U.S. alliance, including the Japan-U.S. sofa. You mentioned the uh, fair and unilateral the U.S. and Japan relationship. And what's your take on the relationship with the United States? Talking about how the U.S. government is, is going to be formed, and that is in the hands of the voters in the United States. Whatever the U.S. government may be, Japan's national security uh, is uh, based on Japan-U.S. alliance. I served as the defense minister. I went to, there was a helicopter accident in Okinawa International University. It was a warm period in August. And that period, at that time, 
Japan's and police authorities were not allowed to get access to the site. I don't think that is a good situation indeed for us. Japan is a country with sovereignty. Then we have to have an equal Japan-US alliance on a legal sense. For us to make it happen, such an effort has to be made, in my understanding. What is the equal the Japan has so far? That if you compare the Italy, or Germany, and South Korea, and how Japan is compared with those nations, we have US forces in Japan, their legal status, and in case well, for us to respond to that, and then the status of the SDF in the United States. And without that, we cannot call it an equal relationship. If that is possible, or not. And that would be conducive to the enhancement of Japan-US alliance. We have to have a realistic discussion, including the point. Otherwise, we cannot step forward in the matter. Within the LDP, I gave instruction to the LDP to study the matter. That's one important thing in this respect. Japan with a sovereign nation, then then what kind of partnership is going to be formed between Japan as a sovereign nation with uh, the United States? I was a defense minister. I was director general of the defense agency 22 years ago. Um, not have and spoke, but networking or network type alliance and should be um, aimed at. And we had a, I had a discussion with the United States on that matter. National security environment surrounding Japan is indeed um, very severe. Uh, such a uh, study consideration should be accelerated. Uh, I will not make a jump up to the conclusion by making predictions, but uh, we respect that uh, we think that the Japan's alliance with the United States uh, is a matter uh, that counts uh, most, and that's why I have such an idea. So you can submit the, uh, uh, the document of the uh, questions later. And on a later date, we can respond to your questions. We are already behind the schedule, and we conclude the press conference for today.